this sketch, we find ourselves in a forest where we're going to cover the DDX for benign vulvar and vaginal dermatoses. The chief complaint for these disorders is usually itching, so we'll symbolize that up top so that we don't have to repeat it with every pathology that we encounter. Let's represent itching and subsequent scratching with this bear that's scratching up this tree bark. Okay, first up on our differential is lichen simplex chronicus, which is the thickening of the vulvar skin due to a chronic itch-scratch cycle that's triggered by vulvar dermatitis. We've symbolized lichen simplex chronicus with this tree bark, for reasons you'll soon find out. In addition to unrelenting itching and scratching, these patients also note that the itch-scratch cycle worsens at night. So we've put this nocturnal owl in the tree to remind you of that. Some risk factors to look out for are a personal or family history of allergies, asthma, and eczema. We've emphasized this family history of allergies by giving our owl some family members with runny noses. I mean, uh, beaks, runny beaks. On physical exam, the vulvar skin will appear thicker than normal and be described as leathery or bark skinned. See why we symbolize lichen simplex chronicus with bark? This thickening is due to the hyperplastic response of the epidermis. Notably, Unlike some of the other conditions we'll cover here, lichen simplex chronicus is only found on the vulva. The treatment is to remove any potentially irritating agents that could have caused the dermatitis, such as scented soaps, and to perform routine vulvar hygiene. Additionally, a topical corticosteroid, represented with our recurring moon face, this time as moon-faced berries, is also routinely administered to treat this condition. While this video focuses on benign dermatoses, it's important to note here that if you diagnosed lichen simplex chronicus and it doesn't respond to treatment within six weeks, then it's time to consider vulvar paget disease, which can present similarly. We've stuck a little note on a page in the tree to make sure you don't forget this clinical pearl. Next up is lichen sclerosis, a chronic scarring disorder of the anogenital area that can lead to obliteration of the normal genital architecture. It's symbolized by this white snake. In addition to itching, these patients may complain of irritation, burning, and tearing, which is why the snake is crying tears. They may also note dyspareunia, symbolized with our recurring petunias, dysuria, and dyskesia, symbolized with a baby bear peeing on fire ants and having a painful poop, respectively. The most common age groups in which lichen sclerosis is diagnosed is in prepubertal or postmenopausal biologically female patients. To remind you of our postmenopausal patients, we have Grandmama Bear holding up her paws in the shape of a pause sign. Overkill? Mm, we think not. Lichen sclerosis has a very notable physical exam. In terms of location, in addition to the vulvar area, the anal area is also involved. It is not found in the vagina. You may note a figure of eight or hourglass distribution around the vulva and anus that appears porcelain white and atrophic, hence the white snake in a figure of eight shape. If the disease has progressed significantly, there is obliteration of the normal vulvar architecture, represented by this broken branch. When this happens, you may also see clitoral retraction, introidal narrowing, and fusion of the labia minora, symbolized with this fused snake tongue. If you suspect lichen sclerosis, get a punch biopsy, represented by the snake's fangs, to rule out malignancy, as this condition is associated with vulvar cancer. Treatment, again, is a topical steroid. The final dermatosis we'll go over is lichen planus, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes scarring of the vulvovaginal area, as well as the skin and oral mucosa. Fittingly, we've symbolized lichen planus with purple lichen. Half of these patients will also have another concurrent autoimmune disease, so this tree over here has an antibody-shaped branch. The most common times for presentation of lichen planus is in the peri to postmenopausal period. In addition to itching, these patients will complain of vulvar pain and may note concurrent oral symptoms if they have involvement of their oral mucosa. To remind you of these oral symptoms, we've drawn in the squirrel with an oral cavity full of food. 
On physical exam, lichen planus lesions look like bright red erosions with white borders, usually found on the inner labia and in the vagina, which makes its distribution different from the other conditions we've talked about so far. See these red mushrooms with white borders? Think of this color distribution when you think of lichen planus. And see how there's a burrow in this tree? That's to remind you that the distribution is in the inner labia and vaginal mucosa. On exam, you may also note white striae overlying the bright red lesions. And if your patient has concurrent oral involvement, these lesions will also appear on their oral mucosa. It's really important to biopsy these lesions to rule out malignancy. This time, it's our friend the deer doing the biopsying. And in terms of treatment, you guessed it, a topical corticosteroid. Hope this lesson didn't make you too itchy. Hopefully we didn't run into poison oak along the way. Mm, that's a whole nother type of dermatitis. Anywho, see you next time.